tucked away in the capital of Sudan, Khartoum. A luxurious natural haven awaits dozens of exotic birds from both far and wide. Akram Yahir, the 45-year-old owner of the Marshall Nature Reserve, says he did this project four years ago because he wanted to create a very realistic and ideal environment that feels like home to these birds. The reserve covers 400 square meters and 4,300 square feet of his front yard. Over 100 birds of 13 different species currently inhabit this reserve, set up with a huge cage aviary, dozens of handcrafted birdhouses, trees, a garden pond, and miss nozzles to cool them off. Ring neck parakeets, finches, as well as mares and red rod parrots fly on the branches and compete for the reserve's nest boxes. Sudanese and foreign visitors are only allowed to visit this sanctuary for two to three hours a day. Not only has Yahia started this beautiful project that doesn't exist in Khartoum or around the eastern parts of Sudan, he has also created a natural habitat for these birds, protecting them from the harsh and scorching sun in Sudan. Akram Yahia not only collects these exotic species, but he has also trained and tamed them over the years so they don't attack each other and can live together. The place is amazing, it's nice, it's a nice change of scenery. Uh, the birds are like very domestic, they're very social, the owner has done a great job in training them and it's just really nice to get away from routine and just to find a place like that. I wish I knew about it before. Yehia has confessed his passion for birds and his desire to recreate a safe haven for them to dwell in. To visitors, the reserve is a welcome break from the hustle and bustle of Khartoum. Yehia also expressed his wish to expand the reserve, but that doesn't look like it will happen now. The increased expenses in Sudan, where the local currency has plummeted against the dollar, and food and fuel prices have soared, making it difficult to expand the nature reserve now. But what Yahia has done with the nature reserve gives locals and tourists an opportunity to take in the beauty and diversity of nature in the middle of the desert.